on the road again on all kinds of shopping excursions. It's going to be a full afternoon. But once that misery is over, <laughs> it's football time. And there are some great games this weekend. Um, I enjoy football. I played a little bit in high school. Uh, Pop also played back when they had leather helmets and they wore heavy sweaters instead of pads. No, 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 no shoulder pads, just a, just a heavy winter, winter sweater. Uh, um, <laughs> so anyway, we, we love football. We're going to watch our Giants. Hopefully our Giants upset the world. It's been a long time. But Pop has been going on about the origins of the game. Now, I personally disagree, but he has thoughts on where the game began, and it's better to just let him describe it himself. As you know, many things have been discovered, and... Uh, and by who? The Greeks, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> And football is another thing. Oh, no. And oh, I'm going to explain on. to you. They play soccer in Greece, even now. They're all five foot four. Now. They play soccer. Now, and right. They, they don't play football. Now, they, now. I'm talking guys. about centuries ago. Greek, most Greek guys are little dudes. They invented it, John. Nikolas Athanasopoulos from Samos, Greece, invented Football, oh, American style football. No, come on, man. Yes, and let me explain to you how he did it. All right. He was about 14 years old, and in Greece they grow everything fresh. Everything that's fresh, their herbs, their gardens, their tomatoes, everything is beautiful, and, fresh fruits. And their people. And their people are a little fresh too. <laughs> anyway, Adanasopoulos was walking through his garden, and all of a sudden he stumbled on something and fell. He was mad. He looked down, and what do you think it was? An eggplant. He was so mad, he picked up this eggplant, and he said, hey, Yanya, hey, I'm gonna pick up that eggplant, I'm gonna throw it at you. He threw the eggplant a perfect spiral. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, he says, look at that, that's amazing. We should start a game. What do you want to call it? Let's call it football because I, I hit it with my foot when I tumbled and I tumbled over. And let's call it football, shall we? Shall we? Okay, let's try it. So they went on the field and they got on the field. What field do they have to play in? A An organized field with the, the proper lines and yardages. No, no yardage, nothing. They didn't know about yardage then, you know. They went and, and they went to the fig fields. Yeah, the fig fields, you know. So they went out to the fig fields and they started with the ball. And when they just started, and had a running game, you know. I don't want to say anything, but they never used the T formation. Because nobody wanted to play center. I don't understand why. Uh, okay. Anyway, oh, boy. here's what they did. Uh oh. They used the passing game a lot because the eggplant could throw a perfect, perfect spot with the eggplant. Anyway, they went through a lot of eggplants. <laughs> they kept breaking. So, the ladies of Greece, it's like, these guys are breaking all these eggplants, and we like to make moussaka, which is made with eggplant. And these guys are going out, throwing eggplants <laughs> around, and breaking them all. And we can make a moussaka. All right, is it worth it for this stupid game? So they discovered it, but they never played it, but they gave it to the free world. That's right, John. The Greeks invented all that stuff. We go back many years, thousands, thousands. It's amazing. Remember Alexander? He was great. And we have Aristotle, Plato. They named the dough after him. It was great, okay? Now let's go shopping. And maybe we'll pick up some Greek food and maybe an eggplant. Don't, th I, don't throw it at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make moussaka. Bye. Always something to think about.